Well, happening today, you can buy these beautiful, unique bowls designed by local artists and help fight hunger all at the same time. It's the annual Empty Bowls fundraiser to benefit Gleaners Community Food Bank of Southeastern Michigan. We're so happy to have Anne Shank from Gleaners here with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming in. And, and these are really spectacular. Now, tell us, tell us about this event, how this all works. Sure. Well, um, we collect um, bowls made by kids throughout the year, mm -hmm. in addition to some wonderful bowls do donated by uh, pottery artists. And uh, they're available at Powapik Pottery's historic um, location on the east side today. Um, you can show up. The event is free. And, but for $5, you get to take home a lovely bowl made by a child. Or um, you can pay a little bit more and get a bowl made by one of their artists. And along with that, you get some soup donated by um, one of many uh, local restaurants. And the money that you donate and everything that we raise goes to Feed Hungry Kids. That's terrific. And how long has this partnership been going on? This is the 24th year of Powabic Pottery holding this wonderful annual fundraiser wow. for us. It's just tremendous. I bet the fact that you guys have been keeping it going for so long, it must be such a success every year. What does this actually do really to help those who are hungry in this community? Well, it does a whole lot. I mean, so you have hundreds of children who are making these bowls throughout the year, and it's a great way to connect them to the issue of hunger. Mm -hmm. So it's an education um, component. In addition to the fact that it raises, um, last year the event itself raised seventeen thousand wow. dollars for gleaners. So um, it's a, it's education, it's getting people involved, and it's raising money that's going to help people immediately. You know, so many of us hear the stories about hunger and how you know it's it's all over the place, it's all across the country. Sure. Tell us about the issue here in in our own community. Well, thankfully the economy is getting better, and that has helped. But we still have about seven hundred thousand people in Southeast Michigan who are missing meals on a pretty regular basis mm -hmm. and more than 200,000 of them are kids. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that we still continue to focus on the issue of hunger and this is a great way to do something about it. And when you do something like this, this kind of event, what kind of response do you get from people who, who take part in it? Oh my gosh, it, this this event in particular is so popular. Um, it, you know, I would say get there early because it's hard to find a parking <laughs> spot. Um, it brings together people who love art and people who love Detroit and people who love giving back. Um, it, and we have lots of volunteers that help out with the event. It, it's just great, great fun. And the soup that's going to be filling the bowls today? Oh my gosh, we've got Russell Street Deli, we've got Peabody's, we've oh, got nice. um, Vi Vivio's, Sinbad's, all kinds of great soups. Oh, um, you won't terrific. go hungry. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, so tell us when and where and how uh, we can get involved. So it's today from 11 to 2 at Pawabic Pottery's uh, uh, headquarters on East Jefferson in Detroit. And uh, just show up and come in and, and purchase a bowl and enjoy some great soup and you'll be making a difference. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you so much for all that you do and thank you for coming in this morning. Thank